Okay folks, today we are in Barcelona with X-Plane 11 and we are flying the Sikorsky helicopter and uh, just out of interest if you want to see uh, what sort of settings I have you click on the settings menu here I've tried it on various options and this seems to be the best for me I've got it on high for the visual effects the texture quality I've got on high uh, anti-aliasing eight, 8 times draw shadows on scenery ticked and then high for number of world objects and reflection detail high so uh, that's uh, giving me about 30 frames a second and we are flying the Sikorsky S76C which is the only helicopter unfortunately in x 11 at the moment so let's see what it looks like track IR is working fine so if I click W to go into my cockpit uh, well detailed cockpit here in the Sikorsky again uh, the collective works the uh, cyclic work so if we zoom in a bit you can see also that we can click various buttons and we can also um, press buttons as well which is for those hardcore simmers out there who like to do everything by the book yes you have a click of a cockpit and this is the default helicopter by the way so all the dials seem to work fine uh, I don't know whether this door opens so I'm clicking on it and nothing happens let's turn to the other side is there any hot spots on here for the doors is there no I can't see one Perhaps I'm clicking in the wrong place, but I can't see any, any way to open this door. Right, okay, that's the interior of the helicopter. Let's see if I can turn around and see if I can look behind me. No, I can't, okay. So that idea's gone down the drain. So let's see if I've got another view for you. Let's shift two, take us outside. Let's pan about a bit and show you the aircraft itself and the scenery surrounding it. So that's the helicopter there. Okay, rotor blades looking good. Uh, I always look at the rotor blades because there's so much detail in, in the rotor blades that um, if, if it's modelled well, the helicopter and the rotor blades are modelled well, then it looks like they put a lot of effort into detail there. So the scenario, the scenery around Barcelona Airport, there's a couple of jets there in the background. We are going to fly uh, around the airport and see what it looks like. Um, what are the views we've got? Oh, that's... Uh, not sure what that view is. Just going to cycle through the views and see what it gives us. Yeah, they're all basically the same as we had in x 11 and uh, 10 Okay, get back in the cockpit, track IR. Okay, for you guys who have track IR, if it doesn't seem to work, then click on the settings button. And down here at the bottom, you've got enable track IR. So nice and easy. Um, you can um, enable it there. Or if you've got enable matrix, triple head to go, then you can enable there as well. So click on done. So let's take off and see what it's like. Bad to take off. Yeah, fly around. It's quite smooth again. You see again 35 frames per second um, in uh, Barcelona Airport with a lot of parked aircraft. And so, as I showed you, settings on high. So not bad, not bad at all. It's running pretty smoothly. Let's see if we can just take. Oops, sorry, that was, that's me moving backwards of track layout. Let's see what it looks like and go towards the see over there on the left. See what the sea looks like. It's nice nice smooth frame rates. That's good. The terrain looks a little bit looks a little bit well not very well detailed look at that below. I mean I know it's early days yet. Um, and uh, let's see what the trees look like. see a huge great difference in the textures on, 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 on the floor and the trees there. What's the water like? Is it, is it moving? And I can't really see any, any, any reflection on the water there. Where's the sun? I think that's, uh, let's go a bit lower and see if the rotor blades actually make any effect on the water. can't see the water sort of moving around. Um, no, quite static. So the this, this water is very static there. Get a bit lower. No, it doesn't make any difference, does it? So the water should be sort of moving around a bit now with, this, with the force of the wind blowing down on them, but that's not happening either. So okay. It doesn't seem to be interacting at, at all with the water at the, at the moment. So, yeah, I 
must say a little bit disappointed with the water effect. It looks quite static, doesn't it? I mean, even when I flew the, the Dodo Sim in one of our videos a few months back, and you went on near the water, you did get that, that effect. Perhaps we'll have a look on the replay and see if we can see that in the replay. But I can't see it at the moment from the cockpit. Let's go and see if we go head towards... Um, let's see if we go towards the tree and see if uh, the trees blow yeah, um, with the rotor blades. Wind, uh, wind effect. Let's have a look. Let's see what happens there. Now remember, I did a flight gear video yesterday, and we were getting that effect with flight gear, where you went near a tree, and it, no, sorry, I do break your point about flight gear. It was air, air mission time, so it was air mission time. And look, there's, they're not moving either. Yeah, they are moving. Let's have a look. Let's reduce speed. It's a bit of a very straight line there, like a very, very straight line over the coast. Okay, that's not perfectly realistic, is it, either? So, okay. And now the trees are not even moving, like they're very sort of 2D like, aren't they? So, okay. 2D trees. They look 2D, they're not even moving. What else can we see? Let's see if we can go towards. Where else can we go? Is there a town over there? So I've got something over that town. So as, a, as you see, the, the, the textures, the, the, the grass is okay, but the textures of the on that coast, it was very, very straight, wasn't it? I don't think you're going to get that in real life. The water effect doesn't happen when you're hovering near the water, from inside the cockpit anyway. And um, the water waves, you can't see any waves moving either. The waves are very static. The frame rate I'm very impressed with. So there's some, let's see if there's any life over here. Uh, on the streets, walking in cars. Okay, the, the, the buildings are quite nice. Yeah, they're well done. Uh, there is a car there, one car there. That's good. There's some life. Okay, some life happening there. Uh, I like the buildings, they're very good actually. The trees are very disappointing though. Very disappointed with the trees. I hope they improve those. Or oh, there's some add on for it. The helicopter itself, the Hodges fly well, it's, it's pretty forgiving at the moment. I mean, uh, I'm not finding it very difficult to fly uh, compared to uh, I flew some flight gear helicopters last night, the DCS uh, helicopters, the X Plane 10 helicopter, more of a challenge. And this seems to be very easy to fly. Perhaps I've just flown so much helicopters in the last week, it's maybe I've actually got really good at it. But um, it does seem to be very, very. Um, Straightforward, not very really difficult. There's more houses over there. Let's see if there's anything happening here. Uh, we could just land it and we have a look at a replay. Let's land it on by here somewhere. So, yeah, you see, the water's not moving, is it? It's, it's very disappointed. I'm disappointed that the water, the water textures are quite poor, really. But again, it's early days, yeah, for XP 11. So I'm going to try and land. Oh, there's dust being kicked up there, that's good. I noticed that. What are you doing? 
So that's good. I like, I like the dust effect. Okay, so a quick look at the replay. See what happened there. Apologies for that landing. <laughs> it wasn't the best, was it? But let's have a look at the replay. So let's let's go back and see what we can see from outside the uh, external view. So wait, what's happened, Joe? Where's it gone? There we go. so let's shift two, three, shift four. There you go. So that's the external view. Looks good from outside, doesn't it? See what the details like. Details good. However, not absolutely awesome, but it's good. What am I doing? It's been a long so Let's move it forward a little bit and see if it goes towards the water. That's the water bit, so let's see if we can see anything there. There's a bit of reflection in that in that shot. Wind it back a little bit. Let's wind it back a little bit. See, there's nothing. There's very, very straight line there. Look, very straight line. And, um, again, there's, 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 there's a bit of reflection as the helicopter goes over. Very bland texture there. And very, very straight line again there. There's, there's the um, there's the reflection of the helicopter. Not really much happening in regards to how the waves are moving. Okay. Move it on a bit. Again, the tree's very static as well, so they're, they're, they're not sort of blowing as the helicopter's going over it. Okay, so that's a, I need to sort that, that straight line out of the way. Bugging me, that is. Okay, so let's go towards the city, and uh, the frame rate's dropping to about 20 there. It's not too bad, but. Um, is it a m m much di much more different to what X Plane was offering uh, at the moment? Is yes, uh, it is a difference. This um, I think the frame is a, a little bit better, not immensely better, but a little bit better. And the default aircraft is certainly better at this stage. Um, but whether it's um, worth the upgrade at the moment, well, if you're an X Plane fan, then why not? Because the, all the all the uh, yeah the the game will be improved over time, as it usually is with X Plane. Oh yeah, look at that coastline there, it's slightly different. I was going to fix that bit. But uh, if you want to hold it on, there's no harm in holding on either. Um, so, unfortunately, the there's only one helicopter we can fly in, in X Plane, which is this Sikorsky one. So that's a shame. But uh, I think it's worth the investment at the moment if uh, you love X Plane and uh, you always use the X Plane. Uh, if you've got other sims, then perhaps wait, wait a little while. But uh, all in all, I, I'm quite impressed with it. I'm not blown away, but I'm impressed. Okay, before we go, don't forget to visit our website, pchelicopters.com and our main site pcsimulators.org there you'll find everything you want to know about helicopters and simulation games and of course our facebook group and we are on facebook at facebook.com backslash groups backslash pc simulators that's our simulator community and if you like helicopters then we are also on facebook and the facebook.group that can't sorry facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash pc helicopters so two forums one for helicopters and one for simulators so um i hope you enjoyed that short video on x planes 11's only helicopter and uh, we'll be doing more reviews as they come in so until then don't forget to visit our website and please subscribe because it does help to keep the channel going as um all your support helps me make more videos so please subscribe click the subscribe button and visit our websites when you can thanks very much and for now good night